Hi everybody, it's been a long time since the last update and I know that I have a habit of only doing one video every couple of months but I'm hoping to change that by making a couple of small series of videos around the idea of getting started with SolarWorks simulation for both FEA and CFD. This is the first walkthrough for the FEA series. We're going to walk through a very basic analysis looking at the deflection of an I-beam under an end load. Um, this is a very classic example and it definitely comes up in virtually every engineering program that I've ever heard of um, in the solar dynamics or stress analysis um, modules. A uh, complete written walkthrough is available on solarstudent.org so please visit the site and have a poke around and look for that. As you can see here I've already got my I-beam. I've extruded it from a couple of sketches and I've saved it. Um, I don't start SolarWorks with simulation activated, so the first step here is to activate the simulation add-in by going to the toolbar, tools, add-ins, and selecting simulation, with a very colourful icon. Uh, at the top left corner of the screen, there's a button here marked Study Advisor with a little drop-down dialog underneath it. Select the drop-down marked New Study, uh, you give it a couple of seconds, and in the Property Manager, a new window will appear asking you what kind of study you want to run. In this case, uh, we only want the static study option. Um, although SOLIDWORKS simulation obviously gives you a whole bunch of things, but we just want to go with a static study. Before we go any further, I just want to go through what we need at a minimum for SOLIDWORKS to run the simulation. We need a model or a part, which is a little bit self-explanatory, because if you don't have this, then you're not going to actually run a simulation. Um, you need to apply a material for that uh, part, uh, you need to fix it, you need to apply loads, and you need to mesh it. We've already got the part, so let's go on with applying the material. Uh, at the bottom left here in the property manager there's an icon that represents your part normally with your uh, part file name right next to it you want to right click this and select apply material um, for this example we don't need to go too detailed so we're just going to go with a basic alloy steel um, which SOLIDWORKS you normally uses as the default click apply and close the dialog we now need to apply the fixed condition for this beam where if you're assuming that one end is completely immobile so we'll apply the condition to one end face. At the opposite end of the fixed condition we'll apply a force to the top edge. We need to specify a direction here so we'll use the vertical edge of the central web for this condition. Finally we'll say the force applied is 100,000 newtons so we're lazily simulating a force of about 10 metric tons at the end of this beam. We're not going to go into too much detail about meshing in this video, so the final step here is simply to right click on the mesh icon in the bottom left corner and select mesh and run to run the simulation with the default mesh settings, or mesh settings even. A couple of seconds later and we're now viewing our results. SolarWorks has a habit of over exaggerating the deformation by default, so we're going to turn that off by right clicking on the results plots and selecting edit definition and then true scale in the dialog box. The point of this exercise was to find the deflection of the endpoint of the beam, and you can read that from the plot key bar, but not very accurately. We can get some much more detailed information with just a couple of clicks. If you right click the deformation results plot, click list selected and select one of the longitudinal edges of the beam to get the deflection along that edge by clicking update. A handy chart is now displayed on the left hand side detailing the deflections along that edge, and below that chart is a summary of the minimum and maximum deflections. One very useful option here at the end is at the very bottom of this menu, where the third icon allows us to plot the deflection along the edge of the graph. Here we can see exactly how much the beam deflects along its length, tailing away to zero at the fixed end, uh, compared to the maximum at the end where the load is applied. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching this video. You can find more like this on solstudent.org. If you have any questions about how to do things in SolarWorks, please feel free to ask me in the comments here or by emailing at chris at solarstudent.org or by Twitter at solarstudentuk. Thanks.